Okay, so this is homework helper for lesson 13. Um, and number one says, place the following fractions on the number line given. So I've drawn a number line, and I've written out the three fractions, A, B, and C. So, and then I'm doing some number bonds to help me understand what I'm doing. So three halves, then I can uh, divide that up into two over two, which would equal one, and then one, I have one half left over. So I'm gonna go up here, my one can also be the same as two over two, and then I have one half that I need to plot, one and one half. So I'm gonna plot that right there, and that is A. Okay, now I'm looking at B, and I know that one is five fifths, so that's the same as one here. And then I have four out of five. So I'm thinking to myself, if I chop this up into five pieces, and then I need to go four out of five. So I'm just gonna put some little lines here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have five sections. One, two, three, four, five. And so if I just jumped from here to here, to here, to here, to here, this would be right here, would be B, which is four, uh, nine fifths. Okay, now I'm gonna do the last one, which is 14 tenths. And I know that 10 tenths is equal to one, and then I have four tenths left over. Now I know that five tenths is about half, so I know that four tenths is gonna just be a little bit below that, so I'm gonna put my dot here, and I'm gonna label this C, which is 14 tenths. Okay, so now that you've plotted these on the number line, you can go on to number two and you can use the number line to compare the fractions by writing greater than, less than, or equal to on the lines. Okay, you go ahead and try to do number three and four. Just go carefully and plot the, uh, plot the fractions on the number line. Um, if it helps you do number bonds, do whatever it helps to help you to divide up the line um, into whatever you need it to be. Okay, so I moved on to page 64, number five, and I'm doing A and B, and then I'll do two more for you on the next slide. So in this first one, I have two fifths, and I know that that's less than one because I don't have five fifths or more. And six eighths is definitely less than one. So I went ahead to my other, um, number line that I had yesterday, because both of these fractions are between zero and one. So let's go ahead and stop, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna plot where two fifths would be and where six eighths would be. Okay, so I see that six eighths is greater than two fifths, so I'm gonna make my alligator eat the six eighths. Now I'm gonna stop the video, and you try to plot, um, if you need to draw a number line, but try, try to figure out, I. Drawing a number line really helps me, so, or you can use the paper that I gave you, but I'm gonna plot six tenths and five six on my line, line below and then see which one is the greater value. Okay, so six, I put five six and six tenths. I know that five tenths is about half, so six tenths is just a little bit over that. I know that six six is one, so five six is just a little bit less than that. So, see that five six is greater. Okay, so, do uh, the rest of this page, and I'm gonna do I and J on the next slide. Okay, I'm looking at my first one, I, and I have three eights. Well, I know that three eights, three out of eight parts, that's below um, one. But then three halves, that's above one. So I, already, I don't even have to draw my number line. I already know that three halves is greater, a greater amount, because it's above one. Okay, so I'm gonna take J, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw my number line because both of these fractions are a, between one and two. So I wanna draw a number line that shows between one and two, and I'll plot these two fractions and we'll see which one has the greater value. Okay, so um, when I broke down my six, I have six, six, and three, six, and I, I thought in my mind, oh, three is half of six, so three, six is one and a half. So nine, six equals one and a half. So that was easy to plot. And then over here, I knew that 12 12s equal one. And then I had four 12s and I remembered six 12s would be 
um, halves, so it's a little bit less than one and a half. So now I can see that 9 6 is greater, has a greater value than 16 12. Okay, do your best on your homework tonight. Just really think about it. These are deep thinking questions, and I know you can do it. Bye. See you tomorrow.